I thought I would stay here maybe two years, three years, work some engineering experience, and go to law school in Georgetown was the plan. But after about two days meeting the people at work and working in the things that I got to see right away, it just clicked. And you know, now it's 33 years. I started here as a threat engineer in what was called the Threat Air Defense Lab. And that was to do exploitation on bad guy threats. And we did that so that we can then build a replica so that we could test our systems against them. And then I ended up doing the program management of those systems. And then I sort of ended up leading a bunch of different groups. I led a branch that was called the Electronic Combat Stimulation Branch. So we would then take the aircraft and that thing that I built before, you'd wrap it around the aircraft with all the other signals in the battle space to see if things worked. Then I became a division head and had more things than a deputy department head, than a department head. And eventually I did a stint over at PEO UNW for common systems integration, which was great experience because on the side of test and evaluation, we're in support of that and we're actually building capability. There is no day that's the same, not at all. And that's what I would say is exciting for somebody who's looking to work here. That does keep things interesting. As a civil service employee for all these years, I think that the money is the least of it. You can feel like you're connected to supporting our country and to directly making sure that our warfighters can accomplish their mission and come home safely to their families. And that's different than working for a profit-based company. I mean, it just makes you feel different about that work. So if somebody's looking for that kind of feeling and connection and the opportunity to advance, then this is the kind of place you should work. When I started going to college, I was often the only woman in the room with a whole bunch of men. Now, that's much better. You see many more women coming through and graduating but you don't always see them coming up into leadership positions at the same rate. So I think we need to encourage that so we get that diversity of thought, diversity of approaches across the board. It's the diversity of having men and women and people of different backgrounds come together that makes us a powerful workforce. And I think there's more than one defining moment. Over 33 years, I don't think there is one but I think it's when we cut the ribbon on some of these capabilities that we helped build that will be here for the next 50, 75 years and keep evolving. The other defining moment was really making the choice to go from a technical role to being in the senior executive service. I look back with happy memories as I see what we all accomplished together because I didn't do any of that by myself, but we use the term Ohana that you know, we're a work family and that's what it takes. You know, when they say it takes a village, that's absolutely true in the kind of work that we do.